What I've learned from my TEFL course in Business English Upon completing the teaching English as a foreign language TEFL, for Business English, B, the best things I've learned would have to be the section that covered ESA, Engage, Study, Activate, including Boomerang and Patchwork lessons, and how the Engage, Study, Activate methodology is the core of a great teaching syllabus. This post was written by our TEFL certification graduate Kinsey K. Lisa methodology of teaching. The best thing I've learned from my TES All Business English course would have to be engage, study, activate within the business English environment. I have seen ESA in the previous 120-hour TEFL course and my 50-hour TEFL Young Learner course, however, I had not seen it applied in a way to be used for the business English student. Whenever a teacher is planning a course in the syllabus, the teacher needs to be able to ensure the material is at the appropriate level for that particular class. In Unit 5, I was able to see the ESA lesson plan being used for negotiating, agreeing and disagreeing. This was a great example that would apply to most business English courses since negotiating is a big part of most business people's work day. I was also able to see how the ESA methodology could be broadened, like with the boomerang and patchwork lessons. Unit 5 also mentioned within ESA, boomerang and patchwork lessons. I believe that this is helpful to see a plethora of lesson planning options so as not to lose the interest of students and to build on your skills as a teacher. Both the boomerang and patchwork lessons build upon the ESA to help form a solid course in the syllabus. The ESA methodology is used from course to course, whether it be young learners or business English, which makes it a staple in any teacher's syllabus. The main difference from the Engage, Study, Activate methodology from young learners to business English is the level of content of each phase. However, each teacher includes some form of the ESA in their procedure portion of their syllabus, which means that it is a vital part of each course being taught requiring that each teacher have a solid understanding of what the ESA is and how to apply it to their particular course. My time in this TEFL Business English course has been invaluable. My time in this 50-hour teaching Business English course has been invaluable. I have learned so many different things within this course, but the most valuable part of this course, in my opinion, is Unit 2 and 5 where ESA was covered. Though the engaged, Study, activate methodology does not change from course to course, the content and level at which that content is taught does. The engaged, study, activate methodology and all that it encompasses is something that I will use throughout my time teaching English as a foreign language, which is why I see it as being the best and most invaluable thing I've learned from this business English course and any TEFL TESOL course I have taken. Are you ready to teach English abroad? Apply now for your TEFL TESOL certification course and start teaching in a matter of months. Speak with an ITTT advisor today to put together your personal plan for teaching English abroad. Send us an email or call us toll-free at 1-800-490-0531 to speak with an ITTT advisor today.